All right, guys, we're going to start up our November to remember event right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run. I'm going to do it one show or one match at a time, excuse me, instead of putting it together in Windows Movie Maker because it just, oh, it makes it take forever. And it's just basically it just needs to be playlist. As long as I do a playlist, it's fine. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set it. I'm going to upload them all, uh, not at once. I'm going to upload them as soon as they're done. And once they're done, I'll leave them as unlisted so you guys won't see them. You can't, or, or you can follow along. I could do it like that. But that's what I'm going to do. We're going to run it from from match to match to match. And if you don't want to, if you don't want to watch a match, you can go ahead and watch the next one. So that works. You don't got to skip along. But as you can see, I got everything all set up here. I have the ECW November to remember. Now, I don't know if Yurik and Hall is going to look good, but I don't want to put them in a big arena because that just doesn't sound right. <laughs> so, this is our opening contest of the night. We got Louis Spicoli taking on the one and only Mikey Whipwreck. I'm going to go ahead and leave the speed on 150. I'm going to change the music because I've gotten a copyright flag the last few times. I just don't feel like dealing with it. I'll just continuously switch the music. So now what's weird is this one, I'm pretty sure like even if I turn this off, it's still going to try and count them. Now I don't know why, but it does that. So that's going to be what we're going to set it on. I'll turn critical back down to, I believe, low. Low sounds good. So I'll go ahead and run these, and let's get the show started. Let's see who's uh, who's going to win this grudge match. Fight. Starting out hot and heavy, we got... Louie coming in with some punches. Oh, throws him to the outside. All right. See, that's what I mean. I turn DQ and count out off, and he starts counting anyway. It's like a fucking douchebag. Damn, I don't know why I thought that was red. That little pink looked kind of red, and I knew it wasn't red either. I knew that didn't sound right. But as you can see, like I was saying in that other video, you can really see the ropes a lot more. You can see the definition on that ring mat drop toe hold almost a hip toss oh kick to the face couple of boots right in the noggin throws him in the corner See, but that's kind of the problem with running ECW type stuff is I, I'm, I'm not sure if maybe there's just something I might be missing. Maybe that's what lumber is, but I didn't want to change anything just yet. Run to the corner, monkey flip. Another drop toe hold. Well, that's an interesting little uh, arm hold there from Louis Spicoli. We got an old school look here from. Ooh, he's putting him in a Kimura. Who'd have known? Pow. Woo, 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 woo. Four chops right in a row. Inverted atomic drop there. One. Kind of a slow count there, Jim Molino. Get off your ass, son. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. I don't know if Luke Spicoli could do that in real life, but goddamn, that was cool. I don't think I've ever even seen that in this game. I've had luchadors, luchadors, and luchadors, and I've never seen that. Throws him to the outside, where for some reason the ref initiates a count despite that being turned off. Oh, big super kick. Big flipping drop kick. Oh, throws him right to the outside. You hear a thud on the mat. I like this arena. This arena actually really works for the ECW style of things. 
Inverted atomic drop again. Her and Kanrana. Her Huden Kanrana, as Joey Styles would say. Belly to belly there from Luis Piccoli. Reversed, trying to pick up his opponent into almost a uh, electric chair driver without lifting him up over his head. That was interesting. Running Bulldog there, Spicoli no sells it, gets right back up. Whipper snapper, one, two, oh, a two count. See, the fans appreciate that. I don't know if that was a whipper snapper or what that was. One, two, another near fall. Luis Spicoli is definitely getting beat down here. One, two. Tries for the victory roll, can't finish him. Oh, Northern Lights, one, two. What a beautiful bridge there. Twisting neck breaker, snap suplex. We got a bar fight here, ladies and gentlemen. Ends with a super kick. He ain't playing around today. Reverse DDT. And a bulldog. All the offense coming out here from Mikey Whipwreck. One, two, near fall with the dragon suplex. Twisting neck breaker once again. Big lariat there. Ooh, jawbreaker, kneeling jawbreaker. There's that dreaded super kick. One, two, almost got him with the Michinoku driver. 15 minutes in. Hits that neck breaker again. I don't know, oh Spicoli, I was gonna say, I don't know what Spicoli's finisher is, but I do, it's a death dog driver. Or the Spicoli driver, as he calls it. Big reverse elbow to the back. Oh, he missed. What the hell is Mikey doing? Oh, my goodness. Air Mikey. Mikey really likes it. Oh, he's going up top. Oh, but he reverses. The big man comes down with what looked like a fist drop right to the chest. Mishinoku driver one, two. Three gets the win with the Mishinoku driver out of nowhere. That was a pretty decent little match. I'm I'm very uh, I'm very pleased with that. So there we go, the winner of our first contest of the evening, Louis Spicoli.